Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at inverse of a function. We have an equation here, f and x equals 2x plus 7. We know this is a linear equation, so it's going to be a line when we graph it. To find the inverse of a function, that means to reflect the function over the line y equals x. If we are to do it algebraically, then we need to switch the independent and dependent variables and then solve for our new dependent variable. So before we can even evaluate this expression here, we need to find the inverse of this function. So let's do it over here. We're going to replace the f at x with the y and get y equals 2x plus 7. Then we want to switch the x and the y variables here. So we get x equals 2y plus 7. Now we're going to solve for the y to get the equation for the inverse of the function. So here we do our inverse operations to undo the operations that are being done here on the y variable and get them over to the other side. So if we have a plus 7, we're going to undo it by doing minus 7 over on the other side. And if we have the divided by 2, we're going to, sorry, the multiplied by 2, we're going to divide by 2 to get the y by itself. So we're doing the backwards order of operations, so we have to get rid of the plus 7 first. So we'll have x minus 7 on the left and 2y on the right. Now we divide by 2 on both sides. This will give us y equals x minus 7 over 2. And make sure that we use the proper notation. This is now the inverse of f at x. And we have this new equation for our inverse. So we're going to use this to evaluate this expression. So now we'll come over here and we want to sub in 3 for the x in the inverse equation. So that's going to be 3 minus 7 over 2, which gives us negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. And so this negative 2 is the value of the inverse of f at 3. Now let's look at this more complicated expression. We're going to evaluate this. We need to use the original function and the inverse of the function here. So when we're doing this, just be very careful when you're subbing in values to make sure that we use the original equation here with 4 subbed in for x, and we use the inverse equation with 5 subbed in for x there. So it's going to look like this. Negative 2 times, now we're going to go back to the original equation, the 2x plus 7, and sub in 4 for the x. So that is 2 times 4 plus 7. Okay, now let's look at the second part of the expression. We have plus 3 times, now we're going to use the inverse relation Right, right here, the inverse relation, and we're going to sub in 5 for x. So this is 5 minus 7 over 2. Now that we've subbed everything in properly, we can continue by just computing this using proper order of operations, and we'll get the final value for this expression. So here we have negative 2 times 2 times 4 is 8, plus 7 is 15, plus 3, 5 minus 7 is negative 2, divided by 2 is negative 1. Okay, now we multiply, here we get negative 30, and here we get minus 3, and our final value for this expression is negative 33. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A loves math.